Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2017, slot 2 DILR, says that there is an, uh, is, it's a chessboard, 8 cross 8 chessboard. There is a queen placed anywhere. It can attack another piece if the piece is present in the same row, in the same column or any diagonal position in any four possible directions, provided there is no other piece in between the path from the queen to that piece. The columns are labeled A to H from left to right and the rows are numbered 1 to 8 from bottom to top. The position of a piece is given by the combination of column and row labels. So for example, C means that C is the column and 5 fifth row. Now we are given the question. The first question is, if the queen is at C5 and the other pieces are at these positions, how many are under attack by the queen? There are no other pieces on the board. So we are given that the queen is at C5. And these are the pieces C2. And then we have G1. Then G3, G5 and A3. So we can clearly see that this piece is under attack. This is also under attack. And if you draw the diagonal, this is under attack and this is under attack. So it was easy question that four pieces are under attack. And the question is, could this question have been answered without drawing this diagram? Yes, it could be. See, we know that it can attack in the same row. So anything in uh, like ending in five will be attacked. So we can say G5 will be attacked in the same column. So anything in C will be attacked. So these two are under attack. Now, what does diagonal mean? If you have to go in the diagonal, you have to go one row and one column up or down. So that means if the number of rows and column change is same, it will be under attack. So if we see C5 and G1, rows are differing by 4 and columns are also differing by 4. Difference of 4, difference of 4. So this is also under attack. Okay. G3, C5 and G3. The rows are differing by 4. This difference is 2. So it will not be under attack. C5, A3. Difference of 2, difference of 2. It will be under attack. So we saw that except G3, all others are under attack. So one could have answered the question without even drawing the matrix. Next question. If the other pieces are only at these positions, then which of the following positions of the queen results in the maximum number of pieces being under attack? Okay. So let us first place the pieces A1, A3, B4. Then we have D7, H7, D7, H7 and H8. Okay. Now, the difference between this question is we will be using a condition which was not prevalent in the previous case. So it says, which of the following positions results in the maximum number of pieces being under attack? So let us check with F8. So if we have F8, you can attack this piece H. Okay, H8 and then if you go in this direction, you can attack this piece. Now, there is a condition which says that you can attack a piece only if there is no other piece in between the path. Okay, so in this case, if you think that you can attack A3, that is not possible because this will come in the path. So, it can attack two pieces. Okay, it cannot uh, go down and attack anyone and in this direction, in this diagonal also, there is no piece under attack. Next, we will check for A7. So, if you look at A7, this is the point, one piece under attack. Now, we cannot attack these points and another piece under attack. So, we have two pieces under attack. Now, if we solved this question using the previous logic, we would have said A1, A3 and uh, uh, D1, H7, four pieces under attack. So we need to consider this also if a person is moving from A to uh, A and uh, A7. So first the person will reach D7. The person cannot reach at 7. Similarly, if a person is going from A7, it will reach A3 and not A1. So that is why it was important to draw the matrix to visualize that 
what pieces will block the passage then the third piece is at c1 so we need to see if it is at c1 how many are under attack so if we have the piece at c1 this piece is under attack okay and uh, the other diagonal we will draw is this so no under attack in this case one of the diagonals is like this and this is also under attack so two pieces under attack in this scenario also and the last scenario is d3 so if we have the piece as uh, d3 so we will have one piece under attack another piece under attack and if you go in the diagonal way this is not under attack and if we extend the diagonal this way this piece is also under attack so we have three pieces under attack so the question is asking which position will have maximum pieces under attack so the answer is d3 next question if the other pieces are the only pieces at positions a1 a3 b4 d7 h7 and h8 from how many positions the queen cannot attack any of the pieces okay so we will plot these pieces a1 a3 b4 d7 h7 and h8 so we need to tell from how many pieces we cannot the queen cannot attack any of the pieces so these are attackable positions these are also attackable positions so basically all the rows and columns we will fill first and then we will make the diagonals also so these are the attackable positions okay now we will remove the diagonals also so let's start from this point top point so this can be attacked this can from this point we can attack and anyway these are all crossed off now let us look at this point this can be under attack this can be under attack and uh, this is also under attack okay so this is done then we have the next one is d okay so uh, d3 we did not cross this off so this will also be crossed off now this diagonal is under attack and this diagonal is also under attack okay then next is uh, these three points have been seen this point is under attack from these rows and columns are done we'll draw the diagonal that this will not attack and this diagonal is already crossed off okay then this point uh, we have done rows and column wise diagonal wise it is the same and here also diagonal wise all points are crossed then a1 a1 if we see rows and columns wise done and diagonal is the same one so we have put all the points that can be uh, that can attack these points now the remaining points are this point and these three points so we have a total of four such points from which we cannot attack any of these pieces suppose the queen is the only piece in the board and it is at position d5 in how many positions can another piece be placed on the board such that it is safe from attack from the queen so we have the queen at d5 and we need to tell how many positions are safe from attack from the queen so these are the pieces which should be under attack similarly in the column and row we have found the pieces under attack let us draw the diagonal okay so this is the piece under attack and then we can see that these are the pieces under attack okay now if you uh, count this piece is obviously uh, the way the place where the queen is there so one piece is counted here now we have seven pieces in the same row seven pieces in the same column apart from d5 uh, so seven pieces here now if you go by the diagonal we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 pieces in this diagonal and if you count this diagonal we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 pieces okay so this diagonal only six pieces will be the ones that can be attacked so we have a total of 28 pieces that can be that are not safe okay so we need to find how many are safe so out of 64 28 are not safe 
including the place of the queen. Okay, so the remaining 36 pieces are safe in the grid. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.